Hello, welcome to this lesson in Algebra 1. We're going to continue solving systems of equations by graphing. Now let's take a look at our first problem here. What if they give you an equation x minus y is equal to 6 and another equation 2x plus y is equal to 0. Now they give you these guys in this particular case in standard form but this isn't really a great form in order to graph them easily. So what you want to do first is convert these guys to mx plus b, slope intercept form, and that's the easiest way to graph any of these things. So let's take the x and move it over by subtraction. So what you'll have is negative y is equal to negative x plus 6. We'll just subtract x from both sides. And then what we need to do is divide by negative 1 on both sides. Uh, divide by negative 1 on this side here. So what you get here is a cancellation, and on the right-hand side, on the left-hand side you have y, and on the right-hand side you have this negative x divided by the negative 1, gives you positive x, and then you have the minus 6. Basically this minus 1 serves to reverse the sign here and reverse the sign here, making it negative. So what you have there is x minus 6. Now let's do the same thing here. We want to take the 2x and move it over here, so this one actually looks a little bit easier. It'll be y is equal to negative 2x after you subtract 2x from both sides. So what we have for this first equation, the slope is just going to be the number 1, whatever's in front of x. The y-intercept will be negative 6, which is what's sitting out here. And then for this guy, the slope is going to be negative 2. And the y-intercept is just going to be 0 because there is no constant sitting out here. So now that we have the slope and the y-intercept, it's really easy to graph both of these things. Let's go find the y-intercept of negative 6 here, which is going to be down here negative 6, and then we know the slope is 1. That means rise over run is 1 in each case. Rise over run. So we'll go rise over run, and then we will have our second point right here. And then we can switch to red and draw a nice line through there. It's not exact. It's not going to be you know exact rocket science because it is freehand, but it'll get you close enough to see what, what the answer is going to be. Now for the second one, the, the uh, y-intercept is 0, so that means we put where y is equal to 0 right here. And the slope is negative 2. Now if it helps you, you can write this negative 2 as negative 2 over 1. So what you have is a rise of negative 2, a run of 1. So we rise down negative 2, run over 1, rise down negative 2, and over 1, and so on. So when we go down 2 and over 1, our next point that we can use to graph is this one. I'll switch back to red and do our best to draw a line through these two points, which should look something like that. So there's our line. And then what we're looking for is the intersection point. Looks like we have a nice intersection point. 1, 2, so x is equal to 2, y is equal to negative 4. So what we have is 2 comma negative 4, that is the solution. So again, you're looking for the point that is common to both of these graphs. So we just graph one, graph the other, and we see that we have a common point right here, um, which we're going to call the solution right here of 2 comma negative 4. x equals 2, y equals negative 4. All right, now we're ready to switch gears to the last problem we have on this topic, because once you do one of these graphing problems, they're all the same. Basically, you just graph them and see what happens. And look for the intersection point. Now, what if you have 3x minus 9 y is equal to 0, and the second graph, or the second equation, is negative x plus 3y equals negative 3. And we want to, these are in standard form, they don't help us graph anything, so let's go ahead and convert these. Let's take the 3x and move it over here. So what we're going to have is negative 9y is equal to negative 3x. And then in order to get y by itself, we'll divide by negative 9, divide by negative 9, so that'll cancel right here. And on the left, you will have y, and on the right, uh, negative divided by negative is positive, and then you can simplify the 3 ninths in order to be um, 1 third x. So that's the final answer on the right-hand side. So y is equal to 1 third x. And then we're going to do the similar thing here. We'll take the x and we'll add it to both sides. So what we will get is 3y is equal to positive x minus 3, just adding it to both sides. And then we will divide by 3, we'll divide by 3. So what we're going to get on the left is just going to be a nice cancellation, so we'll have y. And then what you have is the x divided by 3. So the way to write that uh, simply is it's going to be 1 third x. Then you have minus 
What do you have when you take 3 divided by 3? Just get 1. So make sure you understand that this is the second equation. All we did was take this divided by this, gives us this, this divided by this, gives us this. So now we have two equations. Now this one has a slope of 1 third and a y-intercept of 0. This one has a slope of 1 third and a y-intercept of negative 1. Now one thing you should notice right away is that since both of these guys have the same slope, they should be parallel lines. And so let's just check and see if this is the case. The y-intercept is 0 for this line, so we'll put a dot right here. Rise over run. So we rise up 1 over 1, 2, 3. So here's my next dot. Up 1, 2, 3. There it is right there. And then we will take this red guy right here and do our best to draw a line. Again, not exact, but best we can do. Now we'll take and say that the, the y-intercept here is negative 1, which is right below it, and we have the exact same slope. So we go up 1 over 3. So up 1 over 1, 2, 3. So that's my next point in this scenario. 1, 2, 3 right here. And then I switch to red, and I do my best to go to go through that. I think you can kind of see what's happening here because now these lines are parallel. So it's not perfect. But the question is, where is the intersection point? And if the lines are parallel, there is no intersection point. So what do you get if you have a solution or a graph that looks like this? You say that these are parallel lines. There is no intersection. So there is no solution to this set of systems of equations. So when you're given two lines and they end up being parallel, there is no solution. Solution, by definition, means where the two lines cross, where they intersect. You're looking for a common point that validates both of these equations. But there is none here because there's no crossing. So you just say there's no solution, and you're done. That's the answer to the, to the uh, problem there. So um, we have introduced the concept of a system of equations. We've used the concept of graphing them to show you how to find their intersection point and their solution. Follow me on to the next lesson after you've verified this and solved these yourself, and we will learn how to solve these systems of equations using different methods than graphing.